We were at 15 on one studio in Houston. Make this beat. She came in, she was like, I need a beat with no melody. I'm like, okay, I got you. She walked out, made the beat five minutes, sent it to the engineer in the other room. She came back in the room, she was like, oh yeah, this is it. So she went back in there an hour or hour and a half later, she was like, okay, the song's done. Go in there and listen to it, I'm like, okay, we got this one. She had some of her friends there, they were twerking. So if the girls are twerking, it's a good song. Look, bitch, I'm a star, got these niggas wishing. He say he hungry, this pussy the kitchen. Yeah, that's my doubt, he gon' sit down and listen. Call him a trick and he don't get a holla. Bitch, I'm a star, got these niggas wishing. He say he hungry, this pussy the kitchen. Yeah, that's my doubt, he gon' sit down and listen. Call him a trick and he don't get offended. Women in hip hop today, I'm not gonna lie, they're, they're better than the men. Like the men are just going just with the wind and the women are, are the wind. I don't know what happened in 2019, but they took over and I love it. I'm working with the hottest ones, so it's lit. I think people are resonating with the song so much because you can relate to a lot of the things that she says. Like, and also shock value too. Like she has a lot of those like funny punchlines and then the baby, you know, he's gonna, He's funny every time. He's like the new Ludacris. It's like he's the hottest male artist. She's the hottest female artist. And they just came together like so perfectly. Like who wouldn't want to listen to that track? I see the reverse. They got a bonnet. I got ride the, I go Camaro. Oh. I can't be with no. No, no you can't touch this. Okay. I'm from Dallas. So I remember hearing Southside the Realest. Southside the Realest. Yeah. Drug dealers, killers. Yeah. Sharks and gorillas. Yeah. Hope that you hit us. Yeah. Bass was everything. Any any car going down the street, they're having 15s in the trunk. Growing up, I wanted my beats to like break the speakers, like literally. So every time and any beat I make, the 808 is gonna crush every time. So her being from Texas and me being from the state of Texas, it's just like just a gumbo pot, just a mixture. It's just it's working so perfectly. So when I had um, linked up with Lil Ju, mm. uh, the producer who made Big Old Freak, Big like Freak. he he let me sit there with him and you know we make the beats together. Mm. Um, he's from Dallas, Texas. You know, he got that little flavor in him too. Mm -hmm. So just you know linking up with him and working with him definitely brought out you know, some more energy in me. So she came in the room and told me she wanted a no melody beat. I was like, okay, I'm gonna start with 808. The bass, that's, that's the most like, that's the feeling of the song, right? The next sound was just a simple south side clap, just to keep the, the tempo. I would usually say that the 808 is the most important part of the song, but the clap is what keeps the tempo. The clap is like what essentially makes it a beat. After the 808, I knew I wanted to add like four or five different perks just so I wouldn't make it a, just a simple hi-hat clap 808 beat. I was going through packs trying to see which little sound effects I was gonna put in there. So I came across this. I don't think too hard about the beat. So when I find something, I just put it in there. It reminded me of a, like a video game sound. And anybody that knows me knows like I'm a big video game person. I literally just bought like two arcades to put in my house. The next ear candy sound that I added after that was my water splash. I love putting this in beats. I'm all about vibes and waves. Like a little ear candy, like it just, it make you feel good. And you're like, okay, this is not just like a regular no melody beat. He got water in here. He got video game. Like it's, it's going crazy. But what makes the beat complete is when you add the hi-hat in there. Cause the hi-hat is what gets people going. I'm like the hi-hat guy. But in this beat, I kept it so simple, but I used two different closed hi-hats, one pan to the left and then one pan to the right. So this was the first one. And here's the second one. I remember how I found out that the hi-hat makes people go is listening to Pretty Boy Swag by Soldier Boy. This, this right here is my, my Pretty Boy Swag. Pretty Boy Swag. And I'm like, why does the song turn up on this part right here? And I just had to break it down. I'm like, okay. It's the hi-hat, so I figured it out. So we, we're like three minutes in to making the beat. So I'm like, let me go find a hard 808 real quick that's harder than the one I already used. And I'm just gonna copy and paste the melody from that 808 into 
the new one. I used two different 808s because I knew the song needed more than one element. So the latter 808 plays on the verse and the softer 808 plays on the hook. And 808 2 is way louder and way more distorted and longer. It's, it's, it, it has a longer tail. I just feel like the hook needed to be as basic as possible. It's literally just the 808 and the hi-hat and the clap. I added an open hi-hat because usually the open hi-hat will into the snare or to the clap. You know what I'm saying? Like it is like slice into it. So I put the open hi-hat like right on the money for it to like slice into the clap. I'm pretty much wrapping up the beat. I'm like, I need one or two more little trinkets in here to make it, to make the beat just right. I added a shaker. My bro franchise uses a shaker like all the time. So I just tend to put that in my beat sometime when I can't think of another just particular perk to use. I just put a, throw a shaker in there. It lands right before the open hi-hat, which is right before the clap. So it's like a, Literally. So then I added my drop. Let's do Make this beat. I've been having this tag since 2011. Like this was like my first tag. Before that, I didn't have a tag. I didn't even have a name. Like I just was making beats. But Megan said my name in a new song. Everybody like tweets me that all day, every day. People Instagram it to me all day, every day. So here's my new tag. And if the beat live, you know Lil Juke made it. The reason we have so much success consistently is the fact that we just get in there and do it. Like, we're not thinking about it. I just get in there and ask her, what you trying to do? She tell me what, what she's trying to do, and we get straight to it. Like, at first, I didn't think that I would be able to be a part of the production of the beats. Like, I didn't know that was a thing. Mm -hmm. So, but when I got with him, he was like, okay, so what do you want to do today? Mm. And I'm like, look, this the words, and this what it should sound like. <laughs> and then he's just like, okay, got you. The last thing I added in the beat were my risers. I made both of them. I don't want anyone to have them on the computer in the world. So here's the whole beat. He know he giving his money to Megan. He know it's very expensive to date me. Yeah. Tell him go put my name on it account because when I need money, I ain't trying to holler. This song is gonna go platinum. I'm already putting it into the air. This song is just like, has opened up so many doors and so many opportunities as well as Big Freak. Like just the whole, I'm the cultivator of the hot girl summer. I Wait. can't be fucked with, nope. Ho, you can't touch this, ayy. Bitch, I do rich shit, huh. My money thick, thick, ayy. Walk with a limp, limp, huh. It means a lot to me for to be able to like finally be in the position to break people's sound systems. And I love it, but hey, don't get mad at me. Turn the music down. Like I but I'm turning the 808 up. No day every time. Bitch, I do pimp shit, huh? Oh, you on simp shit? Ay. He say you all about money. Yeah, I'm on that cash shit. Ah. My favorite Meg lyric from the track is when she said, Yo mama, don't bring your dad to the mall, cause when he be in there, she know he be choosing. 